All right, today we are taking a look at Transformers Beast Wars Man Terror. Man Terror here was one of the uh, 1997 Beast Wars Deluxes and turns into a uh, pretty nice looking praying mantis here. It's a uh, it's it's a pretty good mode, I would say. It doesn't quite really stand like an actual praying mantis does. More praying mantises are much more like actually upward with long legs, but I think this is about, you know, as good as they can get it for a <laughs> for making a be a, a, a transforming praying mantis. I think it looks pretty good overall. Uh it does have its uh little praying mantis, well, I forget what you call them there, the his little the little jabby hands. Um and he's got these uh, these saw blades inside of them, and this this uh, this feature is really more for robot mode as a weapon, but it works here too. If you push down on the screen part, it kind of pops out the saw blade, and it, it shoots it pretty well actually. <laughs> now that I say that, uh, <laughs> usually it usually it does. Yeah, like that was pretty good. Going flying across my room here, but uh, yeah, it's um. It's it's a nice sort of uh, action effect, and if you don't like it, then it's pretty easy to ignore. Just, you know, slot these da back in, or you could just take the discs out entirely, and then you can make the uh, these bits a little bit thinner if you like that look more. Personally, I leave the discs in there because I think it's a it's a neat weapon, but yeah. Uh, articulation in this mode, the uh, the head can move up and down. The antenna can move up and down. Um, the mouth does open a little bit, as you can see, even though that's not really, a, I don't think how an actual praying mantis's mouth is. Like, I think it's much more of like the little bits that kind of close in together, but works. Uh, the arms here are on a ball joint here. Uh, they're also on a ball joint inside of this section, but for uh, alt mode, it's really supposed to stay in like that. Elbows are on a ball joint and then a hinge here. So good good range of moment, movement there. Uh, all of the legs are on little ball joints and then the wings are also on ball joints. I usually in this mode just kind of like leave them tucked in like this because though praying mantises have wings, they don't usually like keep them out like this. They kind of like, you know, overlap and then fold into their body. So I do do that for alt mode unless I really want the wings out. But yeah, um, the uh, the discs, the antenna, the wings and the legs are all made out of this sort of translucent purpley gray plastic, which I think works pretty well. I sort of wish that they had done a different color other than the the bright green, like maybe done a bit more of like a less satur saturated green to be feel a little bit more realistic because he does look a little bit, uh, I guess, more toy like in these colors than than I feel like he had to have been. But eh, it's kind of a weird nitpick. But yeah, um, so to transform this guy, first you want to start off by taking these sections that the legs are on. They just kind of double hinge out and just fold them out like that. And then the robot mode legs are tucked back in here and you kind of there's like a hinge that the the waist is on that you can kind of fold out which makes it easier to unfold the legs here and then you unfold the toes and then you fold that back up to where it was so it's that hinge really is just there so to give you sort of clearance it really it ends up here in both modes um and then you take this whole section here and you, you want to spread the wings a little bit because there's this panel back here that folds open, which allows the head to fit through. And you fold it all the way down like that, kind of bring the head up like this, um, close that panel, um, and then you take the panels that the legs are on and fold them back to, to the way that they were. Well, fold them in on this hinge and then fold them in again on this hinge which uh, allows you to kind of move these legs. They, they get in the way a little bit, but you kind of like want to rotate them around so that they're basically like that. You do that on both sides there. It's kind of easier to fold the legs down before you fold that secondary panel in. And then the, uh, the arms here are on this uh, rotating joint that swivels up to put the shoulders in line. And you want to do that afterwards because it kind of like goes over and locks in those two folding panels. And then you bring down the arms at the shoulder, forward at the elbow. And you can do whatever you want with these legs. I think that this is the orientation that I think looks the best, like kind of having them spread out like that with the antenna going in to meet them. But I've definitely seen it where people have like flipped these legs around so they're also folding down or just straight up like swapping them so that they can all be folding down like that. But personally, I like it best like this. But yeah, there you have 
man terror in his robot mode. And yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, you know, he's like a, he's a Beast Wars guy. So like a lot of them didn't have like actual hands. It doesn't bug me so much. I kind of like him having these just like huge praying mantis tendrils. Um, and one thing that I think is really cool is just the way that these are shaped. There's like a lot of different points. So you can kind of get it to like balance on, um, on a pseudo flat edge here. So I kind of like to take the wings up like this, fold down the the arms and then kind of, you know, put the legs in a crouching position and have him just like looking all crazy and balancing his arms like on the tendrils. And I think that looks pretty cool as a pose. <laughs> I don't know, just got a lot of interesting things that you can do with this guy because the joints are all, they've held up relatively well. Like some of the ball joints are a little bit loose, but it's not, not too bad overall. I think he's pretty interesting. Um, he's got a Predacon uh, rub symbol up here on his head. It's kind of cold in here, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to activate, but that's where it is. And it would show you that he's a <sighs> Predacon. Yeah, you can't really see it. It's very cold in this room right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggle, but mostly just rotation. Uh, both of the wings are on ball joints, like I said before. Uh, shoulders are on a ball joint, and then also here on a ball joint on the secondary joint, uh, which also allows him to rotate his uh, biceps. Then the elbows are on a ball joint. This is still on a hinge. Uh, hips, ball joint, knees, ball joint, and then the toes each are on hinges. So you can kind of fold the heel in and then fold the toes out. So yeah, he's uh, pretty well articulated. You know, those the Beast Wars figures just like packed in a ton of ball joints, which sometimes can make them like loosen up pretty easily over time, but they have pretty good ranges of movement overall. Like you can get some pretty wild poses with these guys, like I showed you with the uh, <laughs> the the weird hand uh, hand supporting pose. But yeah, you can do some some fun stuff with them. Obviously, these uh, these saw blades still work. <laughs> mostly you kind of have to grab them the right way because if you like grab them like this then you're kind of like holding it together as well which you know stops the discs from really shooting out so if you kind of like shoot, you know do it so you're not kind of squeezing this piece together but yeah he's a, a pretty cool figure I really like this guy he's a he's one of those ones where like before I really got a hold of him, I'm like, oh, that looks a little bad. Like, cause the bright green made him look a little bit cheap. But then when I got him in hand, I'm like, wow, this is a really fun figure. And yeah, he's a, he's a pretty cool guy. I like his uh, terrifying little face there. <laughs> and using that, uh, it's actually not the same. It's not uh, the, the translucent purple plastic. Like that's just painted to match and it works pretty well. But yeah, not not really a ton more to say. He's a, he's just a solid Beast Wars Deluxe and definitely uh, worth having in your collection if you like Beast Wars stuff. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do reviews right now every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And uh, if you have anything you want me to review, make sure to leave it in the comments and I'll let you know if I can get to it. But as for now, this is Transformers Beast Wars Man Terror.